Good morning, friends. It is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel and cheers. It is Friday. It's also a rainy day at home. We made sure to get all of our things done earlier this week that we wanted to because I knew it was going to rain and I just wanted to stay at home. So I, I love rainy days at home. It seems like we haven't had as many lately, so we're going to take advantage of it today. It's literally the perfect day to stay home and finish up some of my fall projects that I have in mind before I start decorating. Now I do want to give a big thank you to Cricut for actually sponsoring today's video. I always love working with them. You guys know I love my Cricut too. So we're going to be making and finishing all of my fall signs here later today, probably at nap time because that's when I tend to get some of those fun sit down projects done. Nap time has been hit or miss lately. Ever since we went on our trip to California, they haven't been consistently napping. So we'll see if that works out, but that's my plan for today. So I've actually been out in the garage finishing up some spray painting of signs. I was putting this chalked matte clear top coat on the big sign that I actually want to put on this wall right here. And the reason I'm doing this top coat is because the finish just was very uneven and it just was not looking nice. When you spray paint, it's really hard to get even coverage in my opinion. And what I've used in the past on those types of signs is this matte clear top coat. So I'm hoping that it makes my sign look really nice when it's all said and done and dry. It's supposed to rain, like I said, so I'm trying to get all my spray painting done early this morning. I started yesterday and going to finish up today because you know it gets kind of that wet and it just doesn't dry as fast anymore in the garage. So anyways, I'm just finishing my coffee. We've been working on a puzzle. We've been obsessed, or at least I've been obsessed lately with them. And I actually think I'm going to try out a new recipe this morning too. I mean, don't you have to bake on rainy days? I feel like you do. I cannot stand that word. Moist and chewy banana oatmeal cookies. It has five star reviews, so we're gonna go for it. Banana oatmeal cookies. Oh, they do. They look so good. They have to be good. Who wants to help me bake? Hey, do you remember 20 something years ago? Those cold nights in December and the sound of the falling snow. The fireplace warm and nice. The VHS movie box Your old broke down touring bus And not a single cloud in the sky If I could go back in time I'd pack my bags right now If I could play back rewind I wouldn't think twice A pair of jeans and a dusty shirt We didn't have a dime Oh, you and me were poor as dirt All we had was time Hey, do you remember? Sneak it out in the night Me playing the fender And you singing, oh, it's alright Beating hearts full of love stars over us just a dream guiding us and not a single cloud in the sky if i could go back in time i'd pack my bags right now if i could play back my life i wouldn't think twice can i put my water in? yeah here's your water and your golf bag where does it go Pop it in somewhere. Other side. Other side. I actually thought golf lessons were gonna get canceled today, but they didn't. Uh oh, there's a bee! Ah! Get out of here! Close the door! We totally just brought Matt into golf lessons and it is hands down pouring out, which reminds me my garage door is open. I better go close that quick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's pouring. <laughs> Ethan, did you do this whole line? 
Yes. All by yourself? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It keeps growing and growing, just like you. Another goal of mine today is to finish this puzzle. I picked this up at Dollar General a couple days ago. This was hard. I was thinking this was going to be one that the kids would help me on, but for the most part, it's just me. I know, but I think we have the hardest left. If you, if you just do the call, Although the sky was pretty enough. difficult too. It's all pretty hard. But this think, part is gonna be the hard part. Yeah, I'm just going through, I think, a puzzle phase. Ooh, no, not it. They are addicting best. though. Mine? And what I do is if I like I'm at a really hard spot, I can't find the piece, I just walk away and we try it later and all of a sudden the magical piece around, comes around. But you all tell me I need to go to Dollar Tree for puzzles. We just haven't got there yet. Maybe this weekend I can stop in there. I'll come with you. Yeah, of course you will. <laughs> and mom, if that piece, no. try this piece area too. It's I brought in all of the signs that I spray painted yesterday and then I also took, you saw me rub some chalk on this. The way that the wood is, it's not all even. There's definitely like different marks in the wood. So I thought that I would try to just make it look like an old chalkboard almost by rubbing on some chalk. So I think it looks okay. We'll see when the decal goes on. I'm thinking I will do white. I was actually inspired by a sign that I saw in Kirkland's when I was there last week. It was green and it wasn't the right size though for what I needed for this wall. And honestly, that's probably one of the main things that I love about having my Cricut is I can make signs that are the right size for my space, the right color, and exactly how I like them. So in today's video, I thought I would just walk you through making one of the signs. I'm gonna do the large green one for this wall. And then I'm also hoping I can make a couple of smaller ones, maybe behind the scenes, and I'll share with you what all of them look like before this video is over. I'm hoping to do a tiered tray sign of my own and one for my chicken wire shelf. I did not have this Cricut Maker last fall, so I wasn't able to make anything. So I just, I'm, I wanna make all the things. To make the sign, you will need a Cricut Maker clear transfer tape along with some vinyl. I chose today to use the removable matte white premium vinyl. I think it'll really pop off of my green. And then I have my tools here, a weeding tool, my scraper, and of course some scissors. I'm also going to be using a 12 by 24 standard grip mat. And now I like to use these whenever I am making a larger project. But to get started, I'm going to open the Cricut Design Space and type out the words as I would like them to appear on my sign. I've actually found this system to be very user friendly. I was able to just get in and play around and navigate on my own, but I'm just going through the hundreds of font choices to pick out just the perfect one. You'll see me try so many different ones and a little spoiler alert, once I actually print out my vinyl and make my sign, I change my mind and print out even more until I get the perfect font. I will make sure to have everything linked down below in the description box as well as the font names and the spray paint color that I use to make my sign. But once I get everything situated and size correctly based on the sign that I'm wanting to create, I'm going to click the make it button in the top right corner I'm going to scroll down, make sure that it fits on my mat. And then I'm going to continue on to choose the material that I'm going to be cutting in today's video. I'm just using, like I said, the removable vinyl in white 
mat. Now I own a Cricut Maker as well as a Cricut Joy, which was the very first Cricut that I ever purchased. And I honestly love both. I have gotten some questions as to which one I would recommend. They both are very special and unique and make different things. You know, if smaller projects, the Cricut Joy works out great for those cards, labels, Love my joy for that. But as far as my Cricut Maker goes, I love to use this to make the larger scale project. So both in my opinion are amazing. I just couldn't pick between the two if I had to, but now that I have my vinyl cut and applied to my mat, I'm going to head on over to my Cricut Maker and use the buttons to load my vinyl and start cutting. I used to be very intimidated at the thought of using a Cricut maker. I was never a crafter. I'm still a little bit mind blown that I'm sitting down and crafting at my kitchen table sometimes, but it is so easy to use. I would not steer you wrong, trust me. But the time that I do spend sitting at my table or my desk creating something, I will say is just very, therapeutic for me. The house is quiet, I'm crafting, and the final result always makes it worth it. It's time well spent in my opinion. Now that I've peeled the majority of the vinyl away from my words, I'm using my weeding tool to pick out some of those smaller pieces so then I can apply my transfer tape and use my scraping tool to apply it directly onto my sign. The color green that is showing up on camera I feel like is a little bit different than what it actually looks like in person. It's a little bit deeper, darker green in real life. It's really pretty and you all know I've been obsessed with all the green things right now. Now there are projects that I know I cannot create or design by myself. And for those types of projects, I like to go into the Cricut design space and choose from their library of different images and files to create something. And I've also been known to go onto Etsy and you can purchase SVG files and upload directly into the design space which is what I did on the next sign I'm going to be sharing with you. It makes it a lot easier and it looks a lot nicer, I know, than what I could have ever made. So I hung this up and I think that I would prefer this to not be as bold because this really stands out in my opinion. I'd like it to blend in a little bit more. So I'm just gonna peel this off and try a different font called Dear John and see what that looks like. I haven't peeled off the transfer tape yet, but I can already tell I'm going to like this font a lot better. Imagine a beautiful fall wreath on the barn door to finish off this wall. How did I do? Here's the other sign that I made that will most likely be staying right there, but I'll change you know, the rest of the pieces of decor that are on this shelf. And this pumpkin was actually one that I painted with the kids. We went to a pottery painting place. Was it two weeks ago? I don't know, but of course I had to paint a pumpkin. It was literally supposed to rain though all day today. And I'm pretty disappointed in that. I really wanted my rainy day. I hope it comes here soon. Putting away my Kirkland's decor that I just shared, you know, in fall headquarters. Ah, don't fall on me. Bring happiness home. So cute. But I think I might get out my pillows right now and line them up over here. We are in crunch time for decorating. These both are hard. Okay, so you want to put 
put all the hard ones in one bin and all the soft and cozy ones in yes. another? <laughs> yeah, that's easy. That is easy. Will you work on that? Okay. I'm going to go grab all of my pillows out. Mommy, you would know. My favorite, is this a hard one? I would call that a... Mommy, I, mean, I would say this is hard. <laughs> Good thing it's not breakable. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay, Mama, I'm so have to get all the soft pumpkins out. Do you know what I'm calling it down here? What? Fall headquarters. Yeah, fall headquarters. Fall headquarters. Mom, now, we now we just need a sign, like a cardboard yeah. sign right up on there. A cardboard? I should have made one with my Cricut. Fall headquarters. Okay. Ethan's in pumpkin okay. heaven over here. Like a That's a pumpkin on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest golden Mom, can you help me empty this? Do you think mom has a lot of pumpkins? Yeah. Can you help me? You're supposed me to say no. Mom doesn't have very many pumpkins. She needs more. Mama, can you? Yes, I can help you. My pumpkin box. See, proof that I'm getting rid of some pumpkins. But those are tiny ones. We should try to maybe get rid of Mama, here's some a couple medium size. Mommy, here's the one here's you said. No, no, those are new. We should never do these. No, we gotta keep those. No, that one's cute. I like that one. I like the color of it. Put it in here when you this is the fluffy. This is the squishy bin. Squishy? No, this one. Squishy bin, and what's the other one called? Hard bin. Hard and squishy. Mama, these are the ones. My, this is all the ones I'm on the pan. Oh. Mama, here's all the Oh, yes, thank you. I didn't do a good job of organizing. Yeah, you didn't do, because <laughs> you didn't give me the soft one. I'm just putting away the Hobby Lobby stuff now. We're sorting it. Damn. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> That'll work. But I was reminded of these. I actually went back to see if they had a couple of more and they were all sold out. Sad day, but I'll be okay. That's why I grabbed five when I did. Okay, bud, I think I have a hard pumpkin for you. Ethan, here you go. Isn't that one cool looking? What do you think of that? It is not weird. It's hot. Special. I think that's about all we're going to do down here today making progress. The only thing I have not yet pulled out are the wreaths and those will kind of get a little bit messy so I'm going to save those for now. We're doing pizza and a movie down here tonight though. The kids are in the bedroom right now. I shut the door so you could see what the doors look like down here. I never showed those to you. So much better. This one actually had a giant hole in it which kind of was concealed by that plant in the corner but it's just amazing the difference that they've made. I'm glowing under these lights. I look super pale and white, which I probably am. But anyways, I don't really have any other updates on the rest of the doors getting installed yet, but everything has been ordered. The contractor is paying for Madden's closet doors to get replaced. And if it takes as long as the initial door order took, I'm guessing we're a couple of months out from everything getting finished, but who knows? It could come sooner since it's just a couple of doors. I have no idea, but hopefully maybe they'll expedite it knowing that it's to finish an order. But yeah, otherwise we're just really happy with everything that he has done around here. The doors all closed so nice before the kids couldn't even open their closet doors. They were just so jammed and bent from 20 years, I guess, of just taking a beating. So even just being able to open and close the doors, an amazing difference. So yeah, I'm super happy with it. And also a random thing, as I'm sitting down here, I do think I'm going to decorate for fall in the family room. I haven't ever done that, at least like formally, I guess. Maybe I put a pumpkin on a table or something, but I actually want to decorate the mantle. And, you know, I have my, 
what is that called? Entertainment center, oh my gosh, Friday afternoon. But I have a few fun places that I think it would be fun to decorate. So I'll probably do that. And the reason I wanna do the mantle down here is because I'm very limited upstairs in our living room. I can't really decorate the mantle as much as I'd like because we have that clock that's always there. So I think it'd be fun and get me thinking outside the box a little bit as to how I can decorate down here. So yeah, we're just adding spaces that I can decorate, which totally fine by me. I just can't get enough of fall decor. It's just sprinkling. Yeah, the rain finally started, although it's not as heavy as earlier, but I'm just tidying up the house, getting ready for the weekend. I can't bring myself to pick up the rainbow car line though. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. My dad is coming tomorrow. I think my stepmom is too, so we'll have a couple of visitors here for the weekend, which will be fun because my husband's in a golf tournament. We're getting down to the end of golf season, although he just told me about another one at the end of September. Anyways, it'll be nice to have him here. We're hoping to get out. He's going to bring his boat, so we're hoping to get out on the lake for a little bit. And then I also have that light switch that I want him to help me switch. And I was just thinking that I should put together a box of things to sell on his garage sale, which okay, is also Mom. this next week. So Are you ready to help me? I am ready. So track? Yes, we're gonna do a monster size track. So I might put together a little box of things to put on his garage sale. It can't hurt to declutter a little bit. Yeah. Oh my gosh, be careful, bud. Do you need help? No. Okay. Say excuse me, Bailey. Excuse me, Bailey. Oh. Be careful. Did you sneak a snack? No. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I, I opened the house. So you did sneak a snack. You got a piece? I think we're gonna do it. Yes, please. We're gonna do it. How many pieces left? <gasps> oh, yeah. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Of course, they it. come in when it gets easy, when there's only a few left. I'm gonna do it, please. Is this, is this the hardest puzzle you guys have ever done? Mommy, no. there's a piece no. stuck on the Oh, you got one lodged under there? Oh, there was one on the ground. There's hands flying everywhere here. Oh, Macy found one. Oop, got it. You can do it. Looks like we might be missing a piece. Now I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight until we find the missing piece. Insert angel singing right now. Hark the herald angels sing. I won't do that to you, but seriously, that one was not easy. But I think I'm going to end today's video right here. We're just about all to head upstairs, put on our pajamas. Then we're gonna head downstairs for pizza and a movie. I'm in charge of the movie and I have no idea what we're watching. We're in between the Sandlot and the Mighty Ducks, the episodes, the new ones on, is it Netflix or Disney Plus? Disney Plus. I don't know, we're kind of trying to figure out what movie we're gonna watch, so I need to figure that out here. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us for today's video. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. Do not forget to check out all the Cricut information down below in the description box, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.